Okay, day three, Australian Alpine track. Um, reasonably comfy night at Murray Gap last night. Ground's a bit lumpy up there, but not too bad. Um, the sun's just poking over its head. It's, I think I want to say it's 7.30 in the morning. Um, not 100% sure where I'm going now. I've got to be in Canada in a couple of days to pick up a food drop. Um, so we'll see how we go. Um, I had to get through that catchment yesterday, obviously, um, in one day. So that's why I had to get here last night. All right, I'll, um, I'll get walking. It's cold this morning, but not as cold as yesterday down there. Aurora Valley, Aurora Valley. All right, I'll catch up with you next time. Okay, I'm just dropping down Murray's, Murray Gap track. I'll just come across my next uh, Alpine track sign. So progress is being made. I've come from over there somewhere. I camped on the border last night. I'm going to go past Oldfields this morning. Um, I'm thinking I might head towards Hainsworth, Hainsworth tonight. We'll see how we go. Um, there's a few side trips I want to check out. This Bill Jones hut, I've never been to that. And I'll see how I go about old Karanga. I might, might drop into that. Have a look at it. All right, another sensational day by a little bit. I'm going to get walking again. Certainly made the right call camping up at the Gap last night. It's freezing down here. There's another one. So this is the Good Rod Digibee. River, easy for you to say. I started to notice a bit of um, horse shit on the track now, so I have to be I have to be a little bit careful where I get the water. The horses, they kind of because they knock up the banks so much, they um, it clouds up the water a bit. I don't think they've got any special parasites in them that make us sick. It just clogs my filter. So I've um, just had brekkie at Oldfields Hut. Just passed a couple of through uh, section hikers walking from um, uh, Threadbow to Threadbow to Canberra or Thawa, first walkers I've seen. This is the heart. I don't know if this is coming up too well. Better fill out that intention book, I suppose. There's another room over there. I think there's another door down the other end of there, if I remember rightly. Yeah, I'm guessing this is maybe where they store the firewood. This is the, not the bedroom. To be honest with you, the camping here is amazing. I wouldn't be staying in the hut. The veranda here looking over towards Mount Bimbury. It's a pretty sweet spot. So, there's a couple of people on horses at Holdfields. They're doing a section of that um, Bicentennial National Trail. They're going to Tom Grogan. So the short sections of the Australian Alps walking trap kind of intersect with the Bicentennial National Trail, but for the most part, they're different tracks through there. So I passed a couple of walkers heading north from um, Threadbow. They were saying the next 12 k's is particularly dry. 
So I've got a little bit more water than I normally carry, probably about two and a bit litres. And 12 k's won't take me that long, but it's um, particularly warm for this time of the year. It's already warm. I was a bit hot sitting on the veranda at Oldfield's Hut having breakfast, actually. It's a bit of a, a landmark, the old weather station. So the reason this is dry is it's kind of limestone. I think it's a limestone kind of base to the ground here. That's I'm in the kind of blue water holes area. I think a lot of the rivers and the creeks flow underground along here. So I'm expecting some um, fairly warm walking too, because I'm walking across a lot of these open plains today. So there won't be a lot of shade, I don't think. But the walking should be okay. Shouldn't be too hard. Tom will tell. So my first horses for the trip. I've arrived at 17 Flat Creek, I think it is. Um, this is where I turn off. So Blue Waterholes is up there. I've come from there this morning. It's lunchtime now. Just having a lay in the grass. Um, you can get water at this creek. I was led to believe there was no, not much water around. The Brumbies are knocked up this side a fair bit. But if you go below the culvert, looks like they've put some gravel down on this side. And the best bit is just there. So, yeah, it's good water. All right, I'll catch up with you. Okay, I'm going to leave my pack here for a few minutes, or oh, half hour. I'm going to go and check out this Harris hut. I didn't go there last time I passed through here. So, I got my inreach. Got my trekking poles. Away we go. 600 metres, we'll see. That wind's taking the edge off the heat, thankfully. Jones Hut. The problem with this one is there's no water nearby. Let's go see what we got inside. Okay, this is uh, your authentic cattleman's hut. Dirt floor, a few tins, massive fireplace. There's an intentions book, I suppose I'll fill that out. The view's really nice but no water nearby. So I've just climbed up to Blue Waterhole Saddle. This would have to be the easiest climb on the whole trek. Barely, barely raised the heart rate, but I'll take it. I'm starting to see lots of horses now. This is real cattleman's country too in the old days. Um, a lot of huts around. I'll visit, I'm visiting a few of them. Yeah, this is a blue water hole saddle. There's a school group just behind me there. Coming through, there were some girls from the same group at the hut before. One snake and one blue tongue. He's a decent sized fellow, that one. Well, he's a bit skinny, actually. I might get him off the track, I reckon. So I've just been trotting along there. I've reached the uh, turn off to Old Karango Hut. I didn't go out there last time. I've got plenty of time today. So it's about probably 2.30 in the afternoon now, I guess. I'm gonna head out and check it out. And then uh, I'll leave my pack here. 
under the tree. Should be all right, I think, out here. All right, let's have a look at this old hut. So this is um, old Karango. It's been restored, obviously. Um, shouldn't stay in this one. And I don't think it's really meant to be meant to camp here, but obviously people are. But um, definitely don't stay in the hut. Let's go see what we got. Oh wow. Yeah, got some artifacts. Lots of old newspaper cuttings. I haven't got my glasses, so I've got no hope of reading that. They're back with my pack. Obviously part of the restoration. <laughs> Spare long drop on indoor dunny. <laughs> Out in the bedroom. Like I said, don't stay in the view. How's that for a view from the veranda? So I've just um, come through Harry's Gap, which is actually down that saddle down there. Um, that's not the top though, I'm still climbing. Not much further to go though. Once I get over this hill, um, I think it's a pretty well a downhill run to Hainsworth Hut, where I'm gonna stay tonight. Well, that's the plan anyway. It's been another warm day. Tomorrow I'll get to have a swim in the Murrumbidgee. That'll be nice. So that tin shed over there is Hainsworth Hut. That's where I'm heading tonight. It's been a, I think you get sick of me saying it, it's been a magic day. I've been lucky so far, really cold nights, beautiful warm days. So this is my Hainsworth hut camp. There's a creek running just down there. It's got good water. Got the tent up, not a sloping site. I'm getting a bit sick of sleeping on an angle, but anyway. And this is Hainsworth Hut. That's my cooking there on the bench. I think it's going to be a cold night. Okay, day three. My Australian Alps walk. Um, according to all trails today, I did 30, oh, 32. 0.8 or something k's, climbed about 640 metres climbing, so a fair bit less climbing today, a little bit more distance, but it was a lot, a lot easier day than the first two. Um, the old Karango um, homestead, or hut, is definitely worth a look. It's about 1.6 k's off the track. Um, they say don't camp out there, but people are obviously camping out there. There's no water out there, so you'd need to grab water on the way in, but there is plenty of water around. There's been plenty of water, actually. I thought there might be a little bit scarce around the Blue Waterholes area, but there's been water all the way through. I've never had to walk more than a few k's. Um, considering we're in autumn, that's um, that's pretty good. Um, what else? Today was mostly, like a lot of New South Wales, these grassy kind of gravelly fire breaks, management tracks. Um, make for easy walking and they're not like the ones in victoria which are like 
dirt roads. Um, these are all close to vehicles. They actually make pretty good walking. All right, I'm going to have an early night tonight. Um, and I'll catch you in the morning tomorrow. We'll see what it brings, eh? But I've been lucky so far with the weather. I'm starting to wonder when that's going to, my luck's going to break there, but I'll take it while I can get it. All right, take it easy. Mm -hmm.